hosted a $100 Dragon Ball Fighters tournament that you had to pay $0 to enter, and I invited everybody in my Discord server. The only catch being that only the first eight to get there could play, and those eight players could come from anywhere around the globe. And when you're playing under Dragon Ball Fighters' current delay-based netcode, that's going to make this tournament really hard. Here we are with the first match of the impromptu $100 tournament, Ghost Knight running a double C assist team on, honestly, a nightmare team. I wouldn't want to play against them. This format is first to do. I can already see a bit of that lag. This is the impromptu tournament. Everybody's welcome, and we're still on delay base. This is going to go crazy. First to two. I wonder if I'm going to regret that decision and if this is going to be the longest video of all time. Either way, this is the first Dado Doya tournament I've ever done. And it's impro... I, I think it is. Well, at least it's definitely the first one for money, bro. 100 bucks? Yeah, I feel like that would have been more impressive back in the day, but we'll see what we got to do in the future. Maybe that budget will go up. <clears throat> Join the Discord. Join the channel memberships. <laughs> Let the fight begin. We got Ghost Knight taking some space, backing up. Kefla lands the first combo. Patara auto combo. Five frames of lag, jumping up to six. The sweater weather is definitely on display here. Broly, obviously very strong in these conditions. And a lot of Broly stamps are coming out. Kefla in the corner. Very strong position. Lands another auto combo. Broly might fall here. Dynamic. Two Dragon Balls already in play. Dragon Ball Super Broly. Will we see any combos come out? Oh, the frame delay. It's going to whoever hits that auto combo first. Kefla in a very strong position. Immortal Samuel controlling the pace of the game. Ghost Knight's going to have to find some space here. Maybe call on some of those C assists. Dragon Rush doesn't quite get it to hit. And Broly stop lands, but he can't continue the combo. That would have been huge damage. Six frames of delay. Not enough to stop Broly. Oh, level one. Can he hit it all? Drags him down to the corner, but does drop it. I was worried about that. In this lag, trying to land that Broly level one super would be hard. Level one from Videl. Super dash to follow it up. No, nothing quite. No punish on the super dash from 16. Videl, nice spacing. Gets him into the corner. Needs a knockdown here and finds it, but not in the corner itself. And misses a level three. That's huge. 16 gets a chance of redemption. And back into the corner he goes. <laughs> he is just sticking to that corner. Finds a way out though. Spark comes out. Videl has to block but can't. Again, we see another throw into the corner. These fighters are both trying to keep that corner. Both dropping it. Again, that six frame definitely having a huge effect here. This is what happens when you have a delay-based tournament where you just invite everybody. Everybody's invited. A random explosion. Will it hit? No, but that would have been hype. I appreciate the attempt. Instead, a level one's going to be thrown at our Android 16, forcing him to tag out. Another, honestly, Kefla has by far been the MVP. We still have a full health Android 18, though. Full space for both fighters. Broly throwing up some projectiles. Lands a super dash. Only needs one more hit to get Kefla out of the game, and he finds it. Our first fighter to fall is Kefla. After I said she was MVP, too, that's a bit embarrassing. I'm not even going to lie. A bit embarrassing. A Dragon Rush is going to get met with a raw level three. That's what I want to see in this tournament. Anybody can win in this environment. Anybody can win. Spark comes out for Videl. She's in the corner. Raw level three. Will it reach from full screen? It doesn't. Broly would have had a dash up. Auto combo finds Videl. This could be a kill combo. Oh, but there's a drop. Or should I say reset a huge command grab? No follow-up, though. Another raw level three, and it hits! Ghost Knight is the god of raw level three. He's the god who can't be stopped. Cell going crazy in the stamps. The audience is loving it. Actually unreal. Full Dragon Balls, though. If Android 18 can find seven bars and an auto combo, she can call upon Shenron. And if we see a Shenron in a tournament, I'm going to lose my mind. Broly just can't be zoned against. He is the ultimate zoner. And did I just say that? Because Android 18 almost found the way. Level one. Key Blast in response. Couldn't find its target, though. Still a very winnable match for 18, who does have Limit Break and almost six bars. Again, we are working on seven Dragon Balls, so Shenron is a big possibility here. Doesn't have seven bars just yet. Unfortunately, the only person she's hitting a full auto combo against now is 16. Raw level three from downtown. It's not going to reach, though. It's not going to reach. An amazing air to air. Gets Dragon Ball Super Broly out. This is still Immortal Samuel's game. It's anybody's game. Another raw level three? You're crazy. And Android 16 is going to follow suit. Lands another hit. This could be game. This should be game. But with the lag as it is, he can't find the skill to connect it. He couldn't find it through the lag, but he finds it now. And game one 
is gonna go to Ghost Knight. Yeah, this is gonna be a long day. If we get some, if we get some good sets, this could be a long day. Game one goes to Ghost Knight. I have half of mine to bring in the Discord, see how everybody's reacting to this. In fact, let me check. Mid video in check on how the tournament's going. Who do you guys think? Who got this? I, I, don't, Ghost know, I don't know. Ghost Knight, Ghost Ghost Knight. we feel like Ghost Knight. Ghost Knight has landed Ghost some Ghost insane Ghost. level threes. Hey, all right, we're definitely back up. Ghost Knight seems to be the clear favorite right now after those level threes, but Samuel can still find a way, I believe. And it seems, I definitely heard a few Samuel calls as well. Broly with the rage in this le in this level of lag, it might just be too big of a character difference. Kefla did have a great round one though. And she's gonna do it again, another auto combo. This is gonna build up the Dragon Balls. We might see a Shenron summon. If there was ever gonna be a match, this would be it. Samuel gets another hit and another Dragon Ball to fall. Key charging. Oh my goodness, Sam Ghost Knight's going for it as well. This is an anime match, Dragon Ball. But with three bars, I'd be worried that Samuel's going to go for the self-destruct. I'd be worried about it. He tried it in round one. I wouldn't put it past him to go for it again. Raw level one from Kefla. Ghost Knight jumps half of it. Has to block the second. A raw grab. That was crazy. Good reaction by Samuel to dodge. And gets a big punish in the corner. Oh, Ghost Knight gets another auto combo. Samuel in the corner. Is able to tech out and tag into Videl. He does get hit, though. Do we see a Dragon Rush come out here for a snapback? No, we just see a full-on command grab into a, a bit of a blue combo. A chance to end it here. Doesn't quite find it. Key charge. Baits him in. Able to block. And a level three on the tag out. You've got to take the power of love, Roly. It's the great Saiyaman duo. Android 16 with sizable blue health. Let's see if let's see if Samuel makes a move for it. Not quite yet. Might go for the kill on Broly. A random level one just in case. Could have been anti super dash tech, but comes too late. Tags back into Kefla, but Kefla's gonna take a raw level three. Broly's getting that five percent damage boost. This could be the momentum shift. We saw it happen last game with a spark and that much blue health on the line for both competitors. This is anybody's game now. Another random level three and it hits. And it hits. My God, he can't be stopped. Still not enough to win the game, but spark does run out. That's going to be a sizable difference in the health. In fact, it's enough for an auto combo to kill. Immortal. Needs to find a way to dig deep. Maybe even summon Shenron. That could be a strategy here. Four bars in. Full spacing. Doesn't want to do anything too risky. But Broly's taking the opportunity to charge up. You've got to dash in. You've got to do something about that. If he gets seven bars, Shenron's on the table for him. He now has a lot more meter to random level three with Immortal. Doing great with the more patient game here. Level threes might fly out though. Good defense. And he finds another auto combo. If he can get six bars, he can summon Shenron. Tag in on the Broly. If he lands an auto combo, oh, the auto combo comes out if he matches it. It's going to be Shenron for Immortal. It's going to be Shenron for Immortal. What's the wish here? Four options. What's he going to go for? He's bringing back Kefla. My goodness. He's got the character lead again. But now Broly has seven bars that he has to burn through. And he's choosing to do it with a level three. Slow one. Videl's going to block. Dragon Rush doesn't come out armor dragon rush actually lands through his attacks unreal big level one from Bedell, but it doesn't land dbs broly low health need to find a hit in the level three android 18 finds the hit that's gonna be it we've got dbs broly down this is looking like it might be immortals game another level three but if it's followed up by a level three from broly a level three for level three counter and it finds its target huge damage crowds reacting to that level three on level three violence right there but now it's just down to 16 granted he does still have self-destruct as an option but it's just a little risky being that it's your last character we might instead see a couple of raw hell's flashes level three from kefla no that one's not gonna land crazy tech zoning game from 16 and it's gonna pick up a target but dell jumps into the fight he is doing the self-destruct he's a man on a mission and his mission is to land that but he's trying to land the comeback. Insane. Videl lands another combo. She can do a level three from this. She'll easily get it. But she gets a Dragon Rush instead. Could it be the lag? Could it be the, 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 the nerves? We don't know. But a full health 18. It's still very much in Immortal's corner to win this game. Ghost Knight is going to have to work pretty hard to get it. Raw level one, though. Looks like that's going to be blocked. Could be followed up with a huge punish. And he gets an auto. But it's not enough. Immortal's gonna go one to one. This is the start of the entire event. 
And it's anybody's game. New stage of scenery. I haven't seen the team yet. I'd be interested in seeing how it's going to look. What are we going with here? Oh, there is no team switch. We just went with a with an old lobby switch. A little a, a new map. Zoning here. Both competitors choosing to stay on the far sides of the screen. They gotta find a way. Broly's gonna land the first meaningful auto combo of the game into some key blast. Catflow touches back down on the floor here. Oh, and a big heavy from Broly. Corner presence. Kefla fights her way out. Fights her way back mid-stage. First auto comp. Oh, wait. No, no. That wasn't. Second Dragon Ball of the day. We saw Shenron be a huge factor in that first one. Oh, my goodness. Broly with a mean kick to Great Saiyan's head. That is some disrespect. Immortal Samuel has really made a name for himself now. He has gotten an absolute stellar opening on this day. Four Dragon Balls, though. EBS Broly lands one himself. He, does, he doesn't follow with the full one, so no Dragon Balls in play. Kefla comes back in. Can't seem to make, land a hit. 2M stop. It's bad. Oh, goodness. Oh, that command grab was laggy as all. My goodness. I saw that in 16 frames. Wow, what a tag to dodge the armored 5H. Broly instead going to work him into the corner. Dragon Rush not going to land. DBS Broly has definitely changed the pace of this game for Ghost Knight. If you're a Ghost Knight fan, you've got to be happy to see this. A raw level three. Broly's going to slip out of his armor. And that's also going to kill. A huge character lead moment for Ghost Knight. Level three for Samuel. Did he catch the back dash? He actually does. This opening, is ma this opening match has definitely been the match of raw level threes. And Kefla, I mean, her level three is just on a different level when it comes to that game. If you want to go bar for bar on raw level threes, Kefla will be there to drop the entire track. Tags out to 18. Might be looking to save Kefla for that limit break level three. Hell's Flash comes out, but not going to land. 18 is going to dash up and get a bit of a combo off. And a raw level three, but he's going wildly overhead. 18 lands another combo. Five frames. He needs to find a way to wrap it up. Ghost Knight with a very strong chance. He's also got Spark. Come in, grab Blue Spark. He does it. He tags. Dragon Ball Super Broly is back out. He's back to zoning, though. Lands another auto. This could be bad. This could be bad for Immortal. This could be very bad. 18 responds with a bit of her own. Back to mid-screen with these two. Dragon Rush, but it misses. Able to block. Big bit of lag. Clash! 18's going to win it. And a level one, but it's not going to combo. Oh, no. Has to tag in. And Kefla's tag is going to win. Could be looking for a raw level three. Dragon Rush, but gets teched. Dragon Rush. A self-destruct comes out. And it's going to land on Kefla. He's been looking for it all set long. And he's found it. A tad bit childish. As Kefla's health definitely didn't deserve all that. But what do you know, 16 still gets to live. Bulma must have given him a bit of that upgrade that Shenron gave Piccolo. That's that's a little different. The zoning game's coming out now. If you're immortal, you've got to be... Oh, you've got to be feeling it now. The chances of this game going to him are slipping away, but he still has to believe. He's got to believe in himself. And he gets Shenron! Oh my god, this might actually turn the whole thing around. If he gets full health, will he go for full health? He's thinking on it, but he only has one second left. He decides full health, 75 milliseconds left. I think he made the right call. That's brought him well into the game. Broly has Spark going for him, but Andrew 18 has a full health bar. This is an unreal hype first set. 18 has to get away from these beatings, though. She's going to be right back to where she started. Level 3 could come out at any moment. Level 3! That's going to be 16 off the map! That's going to be 16 off the map! 18 clears it. That is insane! 18 has cleared the game. Dragon Ball Super Bowl. Another raw level 3. No way! It doesn't hit its target, but it puts him in range for an auto combo that just might kill. Doesn't vanish, but he does walk up and get the light kick. Did he just walk up and 5L? He did. And all he needs is to put it away. But Broly just dropped a level three. 18, what's your response? A level one to teleport through it. And she clears it. Oh my God. What's the Discord's reaction? GG. Oh what a response. That's going to be a tough set to follow up. All right. Well, Ghost uh, Immortal's actually moving on thanks to Shenron. Unreal. Gogeta takes the stage for the next round of the tournament. It's going to be Shitass versus Discord App Kona. 
Good baby assist. Looks like the 11 frames, but it's a solid 11 frames. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, anything. Wow, what a combo from Discord. A huge Vegeta blue pickup in this lag, in this weather. This is tournament winning activity here. Gogeta, nice super dash, full screen. He's going to need to find a way in. Through the baby assist, we see another great super dash. Huge combo. Beam assist. The beam is just locking down Vegeta Blue right now. Great defense in the corner. Has to keep blocking Gogeta, though. Android 18 barrier is going to make it a little more difficult. Trying to beat up on baby. Vegeta gets a little bit of a combo off. Is that enough to kill, though? I know Vegeta Blue will be doing big damage, but is it damage big this big? I can't even speak. It's that hype. In the corner, Gogeta Blue. He could be looking for a tag out, but we're not sure. He might get greedy. He might want to stick around. He has Vegeta right where he wants him. Baby's getting the Gogeta combo as well. This is crazy. Gogeta's putting on a dominant display. How long can it go on? Baby could be... No, another. Another Super Dash starter. Baby gets a chance here. Vegeta A assist. The Key Blast, though, again, the raw tag through it is going to be too much to overcome. The main grab whiffs, and that's Baby's chance to get out of the corner. You can't put Baby in the corner. Wow, what a combo route. Oh my goodness, that was sick. It's been so long since I've seen Super Baby, I forgot about some of these combo routes. Big beam, full dash. Oh, and a great pickup. Gets work off of the Key Blast, too. Was that a planned reset, or is he just going with the flow? Either way, it's enough to take out 18. Sparking available for both of our competitors. Baby could be looking for an exit. A lot of blue health on display. Trying to find his time. Key Blaster coming back. Going to make Gogeta block. He has no assist to tag out to. Could we be seeing a guard cancel? We do. Vegito comes in off a guard cancel. But a 2M from downtown. And that's going to be a lot of damage for Gogeta. Big MVP. Gogeta, even though he was MVP, that's not enough to stick around forever. I think Vegito just landed the kill combo on him. He's going to let Vegeta Blue do the final talk. And he finds a way to do that with no bar spent. Six bars for both competitors here. Again, we do have Spark, Android 17, and Limit Break. I wouldn't say this game's over by far, but Discord definitely has a comfy lead. Oh my goodness! He tried to get the double Sunday, but through the lag, wasn't able to get that Spark to confirm quick enough. I saw what he was going for, though. And he's definitely showing signs of not being afraid, going for stuff like that. He's still looking to win. There's a big difference between playing to survive and playing to win. And shit ass looks like he's playing to win. Down in the corner, five bars available. And he just wakes up with a mash. That is competitive behavior, folks. And he wants to get him out. And he's going to do it with one of the sickest 17 combos I've ever seen. They, unfortunately, the lag is just too much. He goes through the key blast. Oh, my God. He goes through the key blast. Replay that. Slow it down. That was efficient 17 play. Again, dashes behind. Oh, Jump up. Raw level 3 is going to counter that, though. A little too strong. 17 jumps away. Another raw level 3. And that's going to be all she wrote for 17 in this tournament. The first round goes to Discord. Insane. That was a great round, though. Skipping the intro this time. It's all business. Can Discord find a way to go 2-0? I will be honest, though. This Gogeta is no slouch. Just from what I saw off 17... That I know this guy's a gamer. I know he'll find a way. If you give him too much room to run, he will take you for everything you're worth. The combos. Will he spark here or tag? No. You're able to just get an auto combo. Oh, the baby assist finds its way back. Big bang. You can't get hit by the big bang attack. Oh, DP in the corner. 2M. That's Vegeta blue down. Again, a strong performance from Gogeta. This time, though, actually able to put a character away and give him a big character lead. That might be the difference maker. Last game, we saw a couple raw level threes also do him in. Those both were by Vegeta Blue. And that option's gone now, too. The baby combos, though. Have you ever seen a, com a combo character like that? He makes it look too good. Gogeta wants to play a bit defensive. If you're baby in this situation, you've got to be looking for that DP. 17 comes out. Great assist. Gives Gogeta a few more options on block. And he's going to take him for what it's worth. Beam. Oh, my goodness. These combo routes are clean. Stay in the corner. Baby, though, going to bounce back. Has a mid-range. Gets a super dash off that now. Shout out to the buff. Doesn't have anything else to go off of, though. Couple of key blasts will come back. Oh, the barrier. It wasn't enough to keep him out for good. Key blast route. It's going to work. Baby's doing it all right now. What a round. 
I would say, though, this, with the character lead and all those assists available, I still got to go with Gogeta team for this one. Shit ass still has my vote for this round. Big Bang Kamehameha. But the combo drops. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. I don't know if that was planned, but I don't think it was. Vegito A assist. He has to fight through. He has to find a way to pick up this final knockout on Baby. After that, it would just be Limit Break Vegito, but Gogeta's going to fall. Oh, no. I would have to say it's anybody's game again now. I feel like the lead slipped too far away. No assist allowed, or 17 is going to interject. Okay, he waited just long enough. Baby's still in the game, though. <gasps> what a 2-H. I think he's going to get Baby out of here now. I think he wants to preserve the life. I could be wrong, but I'm sensing a level 1, level 3. Dash in, level 1. It's going to land. And there's the level 3. Vegito's going to take center stage now, and it's once again in the hands of this Android 17 to clutch up with this sparking available. I do think he's got it in him, though. From what I saw, this guy is a beast on 17. Key Blasts aren't going to make it back. He's dashing off the walls, finds a Vanish combo, and he's going to get the snap back for the blue health. He lands the barrier, and it's a 1v1 now. Both fighters with Sparking Blast available. Both fighters have Sparking Blast. This is anybody's game. I've seen more from 17 than I have Vegito, though. There's the spark. It's hard to watch this, though. There's so much on the line. A 5M starter for Vegito. It's such a good starter. And with a level 5 available. No, it's gone now. Oh, the damage, though. It's too much. It's so much. It's going to be so hard for 17 to bounce back from. We're going to have to see how much is blue life. Not a lot at all. And the jump in medium. Discord's going to take it 2-0. But it wasn't an easy 2-0 by far. A great performance from both competitors. And I've got to update the bracket now. All right. Next round up is Brendy versus Fuzzy Chew. We're going to have to see. Oh, we're getting the full Zamasu speech. Later. The speech is over. Brendy versus Fuzzy Chew. Who's going to take it all? Another big start from Kefla. We've seen a lot of Keflas today. Two, in fact. I don't know why I said a lot. Like, it's not like you couldn't count it with just two fingers. But, hey, Kefla's been a big MVP front runner, And we're seeing pressure in the corner from Kefla. 6M, but it's blocked. Zamasu going to take that opportunity to swing back. Checks the defense with a dragon rush. And it's going to land this time. Gets him down. Vegito A assist. Huge. But what a conversion off of the trade on Cell assist. 21 assists to keep him grounded. Challenges him on block. 6M comes out again into a dragon rush. Wow, big dragon rush type match. This should be enough to get Zamasu out of the game. Gonna let him land first and go into... Wow, he's actually going for all the stacks. You might think it's a waste of bar for 21 to be doing this level 3. But again, I think this is actually a good sign that Fuzzy knows how to play the game. Because those are purple tier stacks. Meaning, I don't... I, that could be... Uh, if Again, if it's on purpose, that's because Fuzzy knows a very technical version of 21. We'll have to see how they play the game. Doesn't use them just yet. Goes for a vanish. I'm excited. Here's one stack. The homing energy blast. Very strong and neutral. And again, that's one of the rewards she got for fighting Zamasu. She has another one available to her. And also a couple teleports to use in combos. However she sees fit. Will we see him here? No. But a 2H off two back dashes? That was insane. There we go. We see the orb combo. Into Kefla. The scaling must be pretty good because this is a lot of damage. Level 1 off Kefla. Green orbs. But it's going to miss. Into a cell perfect barrier though. And that one actually does work. Was that a reset on purpose or not? I don't know. But either way, it works. Brandy's down to the last character. Dragon Ball Super Broly. Spark available. And you know, DBS Broly with Limit Break and Spark. That is a fiend right there. Not somebody you want to get 2 m by. Cell has him in the corner. Goes for the overhead. Into a Dragon Rush, but going to be met with Spark. Perfect attack in reaction. The beam followed by the Super Dash. Can't find the follow-up, but there it is. Big combo in the corner. Beam facing up. Feeling rather optimal today, are we? There's the super. It comes out. Again, we've got to watch these two teleports. Fuzzy Chew with a huge lead. Five bars for Brandy. Do we see a level three? Checks his defense. Could be looking for a drag rush. 2H. Gets him in the corner. Has him on block. Can't follow it up with anything. And there it is. That's going to be the hits that's going to follow it up. Big win there. I do want to say I like the idea to take the level three, even if it was, you know, a bit overkill for the damage needed. I like the idea of getting those purple stacks by far. I mean, they've got to be the most useful. I don't play 21, but from what I think, from what I've seen, I think the purple stacks are pretty useful. 
Just the homing energy ball by itself. I know the teleport leads to sick combos. Kefla starts the match off again very strong. We also saw a good performance from Zamasu early on last time. Could we be looking to shut that down, though? Can they build three bars? They can't, so it's not going to be enough to kill. Zamasu gets one more chance, but can't take the Dragon Rush. It's going to be a meterless kill for Kefla. Four bars, very strong place to be. Vegito coming out. Could start with a 5M here. We'll have to see. No, both competitors are going to take their space. Kefla dashes in. Cell on the on the fallback. Kefla, very strong combo. See assist from Broly. We see a combo from Vegito into the corner. Spirit Sword to make it happen. But he drops it. And Kefla's just going to pick up the pace from right there. Bouncing back. Vegito L. 5L on Vegito. You cannot ask for better than that. Spirit Sword able to get through the assist. Both assists down for Kefla. And going to get hit with another raw 5L. 2H in the corner. This might be enough to kill. Couple of kicks. Getting Broly out here. Big throw. Key Blast into a level one. Follow up. But it isn't enough to kill. Spark comes out from Kefla trying to get that blue life back. Vegito A assist is safe on the bench though for now. I don't know if we're going to see a snap out, but we might. Absorption. He gets a yellow, yellow stack. Will we see it? Oh, a mean cross up from 21. Just has way too much range on those legs, man. It's crazy. Broly lands the big command grab. Ugh. Command grab follow up. Into the big one. Does he get the chase down carry? That would have been crazy. I know that combo is doable, but practically impossible online. I frames. I didn't even notice, honestly. When the frames are steady, I, as a non-competitor, I don't even notice. Big command grab again. He's going crazy. There's no follow-up for him, though. He couldn't do the hardest route imaginable. I don't even know if it's still in the game, to be fair. Cell full health, though. Ah, oh, and he's going to be able to take out Vegito. It's going to be up to only Broly. With only Broly available, can he get it done? Two bars to seven. Every, every ounce of gambler in me would be setting to put it all on Fuzzy right now. Oh, and a mean cross-up is what's going to do Brendy in. He thought he would have to block on one side, but got mixed into blocking on the other. And you think a barrier would work? I'd have to say so. It's going to be 2-0 for Fuzzy, but a great game. All right, going on to our next round. It's going to be Nasty versus Buggy. I'm excited to see a cooler in the tournament, honestly. Ooh, and there is a Krillin on the team, so it's very hard not to be biased here. The storyline going into this tournament is that Buggy was the last one to enter. So it's like a reuse storyline. Like he got to the fight purely for the fight, and now he wants to prove himself. Janemba assist as well. Man, Janemba assist on one team. It's going to be very hard not to be biased. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Cooler tries to go for a crazy conversion. Gogeta's going to find that 2M, though. We've seen a good Gogeta performance already in this tournament. Has him in the corner. Able to hit that jumping media, but not able to convert off it. Rockus is from Krillin. Rolling to keep him blocking in the corner. Dive kick from Cooler. Gotta have him block. Cooler off to a very strong performance. You gotta block against this man. Beam in the corner. I want to learn Cooler so bad. Big level one. This is going to be enough to get Gogeta out of here, especially with Broly and Krillin on the sidelines. Destructo Disc finishes it off, and now Krillin has to do it all. Krillin's doing it all right now. Neutral game. Krillin has a very strong neutral game. Android 21, mostly, you know, I would say mostly a pressure character. You want to get some pressure on him. Krillin doesn't want to be pressured at all, though. Oh, the orbs take out Janemba. Android 21 finds a way to get a hit, though. Reflect comes out from Krillin. Going to be a whiff. A lot of assists, able to reflect able to reflect the cooler, but the fact that Krillin just goes on the other side is so cheap. This character is too cheap. Oh my goodness, nice reflect, but has to block the other key blast. Even with the nice reflects from Buggy here, it's almost like there's never truly an opening. Pressure on Krillin in the corner, 2H, but it's not gonna land. Late vanish to counter the 2H, I like the decision. Blocks against Broly, finds a stray hit, but not able to confirm. Once again, that key blast is gonna shut him down in the corner, Krillin jumping out. Big beam combos. Going to do it again. No, taking Android 21 up. This is more than enough damage, I think. But will Spark be too much to push through it? Oh, never mind. We only have two bars. Solar Flare off that. That is cheap. Nice 2H. Seven bars. Can we find a way to get rid of Krillin here? Level 1 and level 3 probably won't be enough. But he's going to go for the damage and the knockdown anyway. I don't disagree. We might even see a full screen auto combo mix. No, we don't. I thought... I don't know much about Janemba, but I would have gone for it, bro. Full screen auto combo is a little crazy. After image pressure, we're seeing just how crazy Krillin looks. Run up 2H into a solar flare. The pressure in the corner doesn't last. My goodness, Buggy with a crazy block. Good defense from Buggy there, but it just didn't end. 
Ema says Cooler is going to come out, land a couple dive kicks. No, just the DP. Anish in the corner, Dragon Rush. Not going to go for 21 just yet. Bounce up into a counter super. Was that intentional? Looking for a reset or just a misinput? You decide. Combo's in the corner. Cooler finds it again. This is definitely enough to kill. We just got to see for how little bar he's able to get it done for. Rock assist. It's looking like it's going to be a one bar special. Ugh, he's going to plant him. Nasty finds a way to plant him. Buggy, all he has left is 21. Low health. Okay, 21 gets a knock up on Broly. I still believe in the comeback, if I'm being honest. Six bars, we're going to get the level three. Replenish those two stacks we're missing and the hard knockdown. I don't know if we still get the 50-50 off this. We'll have to see what 21 goes for. Doesn't dash in, goes for a walk-up Dragon Rush. That was insane. A 2-H manages to push through Cooler and is going to be able to pick up Broly for that. Still a lot of health. Still definitely a game in Nasty's favor here. But Buggy's shown that they haven't given up quite yet. He blasts into double rock assist, but Nasty couldn't find the opening. Could it have been the 11 frames? Could it have been the nerves? It could have been a mix of both. Having to block in this situation. It's just too scary. And Cooler's going to get it done. That's round one to Nasty. But I have a feeling this is a set that could go either way. Going into game two here, 11 frames still on the board. The lag is palpable. You can feel it in the room like, like just spirit essence, bro. You can just, you can tell somebody's going crazy. Gogeta off a nice 2H, able to find some damage, but can't quite get the follow-up. But a nice... <gasps> We've got a no answer from host. I've never hosted a tournament. I don't know what the right thing to do here is. After a mild internet disturbance from yours truly, I guess. I'm not sure how that happened, but uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, these two competitors experienced some light rigging. Uh, and it's unfortunate because I definitely made jokes about bias in here. Um, <clears throat> what, what are you going to do, though? Hey, I'm a new tournament host. What are you? Come on, guys. It's spontaneous. There's no entry fee, okay? This is what you get. You get what you pay for. No entry fee. No, uh, no care, bro. Dive kick from Cooler to start the round. I was out here yapping. Cooler was playing in the meanest mix. The meanest round start. A double crossover. What is happening? This is an insane start from Cooler. Taking taking huge advantage of the fact that the rounds, the rigging that happened, he knows that there's just a mental disconnect here. They both competitors were having some fun, having some laughs. We're all making some jokes. Meanwhile, Nasty was pissed, bro. Bro was angry. He was upset. He's going absolutely crazy. Huge blocks from Cooler here. Rock Assist comes out. Another, again, Cooler able to jump away from the command rap. We are seeing a dominant performance from this Cooler. And as of now, if you're the host of this tournament, you've got to be feeling bad. You uh, gave both of these competitors a bit more time to warm up. You've got to wonder, did you influence the results? Did you change the course of history? And then you got to remember, I didn't charge an entry fee. I, I, it's all good. Nobody can blame me. <laughs> <laughs> but while I was yapping, Nasty got another character down. Buggy, full health Janemba with Limit Break and Spark, still has a chance to win this game, but he's going to need to land some crazy hits. And Krillin not going to let it go. Spark, Rock in the corner into a 2M. Dangerous place to be. Rocks, more rocks. He's got a block. He's going absolutely crazy. Sensu Bean to his homies for the high-low mix. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen that since Bardock B was still running rampant in the game. After image over his head, and I fear that may be it. Oh, God. If there was ever a time for my internet to go out, it would be now. The after image can't be stopped. It's over. Oh, my God. All right, on to the semifinals, and the lag is lagging. Oh, my God. The lag is lagging. Oh, my God. It's moving in slow motion. It's only 11 frames, but it's one of those jarring 11 frames, it looks like. 11 frames. It's too crazy. Oh, my goodness. Discord's going to have to find a way through this. Immortal Samuel. Wow, nice 2H. Immortal Samuel had him on the pressure. I thought in this weather, it was just going to go down to whoever got the pressure first. But you can see, even in this lag, our competitors are fiercely looking for this win. Big assist from Baby, but there's just not. <laughs> there's no way you're confirming off that. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. This is crazy. The anything goes tournament. This is why there's no rules and regulations in this. Baby in the corner, slow motion combos. Does he have the routes? He drops it, but at least the Key Blast are coming back. The Key Blast come back and start up the reset combo. He finds the knockout on Kefla. Baby goes in for a super dash, lands a combo on Videl, and then extends it even further. Honestly, I'm impressed that he can even do this. He's going crazy. Bro must have trained in the hyperbolic time chamber with lag enabled. Videl has to block. 
Got to be looking for any hit here, but Vegeta Blue is actually going to land a nice trade. Beam comes out just in time, and he's able to confirm with the extra time to see it. And then now he's using his own assist against him. Same side, Super Dash mix. I would have never even noticed that without the lag. Super Dash comes out from Android 18. He does land the combo, gets him in the corner. Super Dash doesn't find the 2H. A lot of lag here. He's got the combo, though. Discord has clearly adjusted to this weather. Spark comes out from Android 18. Gonna get a lot of that blue light back. Missed Dragon Rush, though. Discord gets the confirm. Beam in the corner, dashing forward. Finds the conversion. Oh my god, doing hard, co decently hard combos in the lag. Spin, two, win. He's gonna do it again in the lag. What's he gotta say for it? More key blast into a reset. Dragon Rush, no, he doesn't find it. 18, gonna get an auto, auto combo off. This is what I would be doing in the lag for real. T Trunks praying stamp comes out. The longest level one animations in the game. Oh, that was, was that a level three? Hold on, but did I, did I read that wrong? I couldn't tell. Super Dash, a lot of time to do it. Big combos, goes for the hard route to the corner. Beam comes back into the twirl. Baby's got all the time in the world. Another couple of key blasts, reset key blast. And he's gonna find the combo again. In the corner, but the beam still hits even on the low. Oh, and the counter super, but it's not going to... Wait, we've got a connection issue. In this case, I think the... Oh, nope, it's just that... Okay, well, I thought that was going to be like a game ender. <laughs> what is happening? Attention, please wait a moment. The tournament will resume momentarily. Connection has been lost. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to give that one to Avcona. We've seen a team switch up after the disconnect, which apparently was on my end again. So this is truly an anything goes tournament. And now Discord is using Immortals team. But so far Immortals actually had a good start for this. We decided to give Discord the round because it was close enough and uh, anything goes tournament by the way. But uh, Immortal is going crazy. Ah, oh, but the auto combo comes flying out. Discord has the round now, has the pressure, has the control. It's big lag though. Videlicis, but it's B. And he's gonna land the double Sunday. Oh my goodness. A team change gone awry in 11 frames of lag. 18 comes out, lands a decent combo. Gonna have to do a lot to get this lead back though. 17 comes out for the combo, but Dragon Rush isn't gonna connect there. Able to block just in time. With all the lag, we can see it in, in full motion HD. Lands a reflect, might have to follow with a level one. A level three? Oh, I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know whose Videl that was. I was like reflecting to level three. That's not going to land. B assist on Videl. You got a block. 18 in the corner. 17 comes out to extend the combo. And he fit, finds another pickup on Videl. 11 frame mix-ups, but the Dragon Rush what, isn't going to hit against the Super Dash. Seven bars for both. Com well, no, nah, I don't know why both competitors. I looked over. That's definitely a three. 18 could be trying to go for a Shenron here. The counter super is not going to work against the assist, unfortunately. That would have been sick. Level one from 18, but that's not going to combo. Manages to block, and he lands the auto combo starter trade. Oh my goodness. A big level three on Discord, and it's moving in slow-mo. He still has spark, though, and you've got to wonder if he's going to just use it here. I definitely would. That's a lot of blue health. He's not. He's going to go ahead and go for a combo. Is anybody, is he going to go for, for Shenron, though? Into a spark? No, just a level one. Level one, level three? He's just going to take the blue. No level three? But the assist tag, I, I don't know. Maybe that was an attempt. And level three tag in. His button didn't come out in time. And he's going to go down. It's a 1v3. As the next character comes in, we've got to check that Dragon Ball counter. It's at six. We're going to have to see another auto combo at least. Another two, but with Kefla's health bar, it is possible. Discord also still has sparking, so he could just spark into it. Oh, man, he's still going for routes. He's just playing a slow defensive game because he knows he can't, can't risk getting caught by too many strays. And he's going to get caught by a stray level three. I guess this is what you saved the spark for, right? This is going to be all blue damage. Um, a reminder, all level threes just they create raw blue health. There is no blue health damage that happens on these things. So you're just going to get a lot of sparking healing. But he's got a spark now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He's waited for too long. Hold the vanish. Just try to put some pressure on. Maybe go for a 6M. He just keeps going for the full grab. He's going crazy. Six bars. He's got to find a hit. He finds the grab. Finally, that should be enough to kill. That should be enough to kill just with that. And Shenron comes out. Although in this circumstance, I'm not sure what the best wish is. Maybe a character to come back. Maybe full health. Maybe another spark. 
he's not sure what the best wish is either. He's going, he's going with bring back my ally. Maybe he was sure. He just needed to make sure in the lag. A vanish on Kepla. No dragon rush though. And a blue combo. He couldn't even tech in the lag. Level one comes out from Kepla, but that is the final bar. Close to building another one. Just has to take a few steps forward. No 2H. Discord is not mashing it out. A big 2H, but can he follow it up? Just mash it out. He mashes it out. No vanish comes out though. And then all you need is a swift kick. Oh, wow. And a menacing 2H. That one looked personal in the lag. That was just a swift hit to the jaw. Sparking Blast still active. A lot of time here. Gets the Super Dash confirmed. And that's going to be it for Kefla. A toss over Videl's shoulder leaves it a 1v2 situation. Sparking Blast still in play. Videl's going to have to find a way in playing at max range, though. I guess doesn't want to take any risk. Super Dash comes out. It is going to land. No Vanish. The Vanish was too late. 18 goes for a raw level one. Videl actually doesn't have a reflect. But she's just going to dodge it out. In this lag, 18, 18 level one is basically safe. Oh, I, I, get, I get worried every time a Super Dash comes out. Level three. Raw level three. When you can rely on nothing else in the lag, you can definitely count on raw level three to save the day. The crying Vegeta stamps are out in full force. But that is going to be the set. App is going to take it 2-0. Connection barely holds on to the finish line. The final semi-final round of the impromptu Anything Goes Lag Invited Tournament Invitational is about to begin. Cooler once again back. This Cooler team looked a little menacing, but it's Fuzzy versus Nasi. An all-out war here. We're going to see who takes it. 11 frames of lag. Apparently, usually when um, there's an EU match, I, I guess this guy's game doesn't even work. We were afraid this was going to come down to a rock, paper, scissors tournament match. But it looks like the game is working, you know, decently well. Cooler, decent bit of block string. Has to find a way to land a hit on Kefla. Lands a big knockdown in the corner. Going for a combo. Extends it with a beam. Going to find enough damage. No assist. He was going for meterless kill. That one's going to come back to bite him, though. Because Kefla's going to get to walk away with Spark. A lot of health in the corner. Got to take it slow. Rock assist comes out. Only going to hit the assist, though. Kefla manages to back him up. Goes mid-screen. Auto combo. Keeping him honest. Has to find a way to open him up. And he does. Nasty must have been looking for something on Cooler there that just wasn't quite there. Maybe a jump away, maybe a jump in, maybe a button. We'll never know for sure. Level 3, Solar Kamehameha. Both Cooler and the Earth are at risk here. Dash back, reads the spark. That was smooth stuff. 6M overhead, though. you got to watch your dome. In 11 frames, you got to be wary about that. Nasty finds the strength. Can't quite find it. 2H going to hit late, but it hits all the same. Rock assist in the corner gives Cooler a lot of time to catch up. Cell has to block and block he will. EX dive kick, but it gets reflected. Broly assist has to jump. Perfect attack to dodge. And an overhead's going to do it. This should be a kill. Beam combo. Standard Cell route. Little beam on the side, but it drops. 21 has to block a rock. Opens up to the mix. Oh, are you trembling? Cooler gets the open up. Knocks down 21 in the corner. Level 1. Who are we going to see the level three from? It's Broly. Is it going to be slow for a bit of a reset here? No, just fast. Fast level three. We want the knockdown. Dash in overhead. Low. You got to be wary of any command grabs here. No command grabs come out. Vanish. Oh, the back dash heavy was sick. 21 now on offense, though. 21 all the time in the world. 6M into assist. The deadliest combination. 21 into the corner. Another solar Kamehameha. He's not paying the electric bill anymore. He's got him installed. Reverse mix up perfect attack. That is crazy. Or I guess not that perfect attack. I don't even know what that move's called. Rolling attack. Beam. Krillin vanish gets reflected. No vanish from Cell after the same situation. Ending key blast. And the 2M is gonna clip through both of them. Key blast gonna keep him in place. We all know if any if there's any Krillin combo connoisseurs out there, you know that Krillin loves fighting against Cell. And any Krillin combo master dreams about this situation. Manages to block, but the assist couldn't say the same. Key Blast coming out. He wants to play a bit of that distance game, but he's just not going to find it right now. Krillin taking a bit of a beating. 21 vanishes. Keep him in the corner. Dragon Rush knocks him down. No level three, though. Meaty Heavy into a command grab for a yellow stack. Two Kamehameha's available. And a flash grab. He uses it. Level one from Cell. But no level ones come out from Kefla. Oh, what a 2H. It's enough to take Krillin out. Seven Dragon Balls on deck, but I don't think there's enough meter to go for a Shenron here. We have seen a ton of Shenrons, though. Come in, grab. Just do it raw. Level one. Level one. It's going to tie up the teams. 
That was an insane decision. Nasty starts off with a button. Can't find a way to actually make it a kill combo off that, but I'm sure he appreciates the damage. And he finds even more damage. Fuzzy is going to lose access to Kefla. Now it's just 21 versus Cooler. You've got to wonder how strong this assist is going to feel in the neutral game now. Broly comes out, but it doesn't force a dodge. 21 maneuvering around pretty good. Has to block a dive kick, though, and a reflect into a tail. My goodness, that was disgusting. This has been an amazing match. Going to come down to Broly versus 21. Again, seven Dragon Balls, but I don't think Shenron's in play. Four bars apiece. Both competitors taking their time. It's going to come down to whoever gets, can get the first clean hit. Armor for Broly. Going to get out of a dangerous situation. Super Dash is in. Super Dash is in, but he drops the combo. And he misses a 2H on the Super Dash. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be just enough off of a whiff Super Dash. A whiff Super Dash. A whiff 2H on a Super Dash. Unfortunate way for it to go. But Fuzzy gets a win. That's going to be game one going to Fuzzy. Nasty wants to look back to try to respond with a win here. Rock Assist is going to help him out. Beam. Going to be able to Super Dash off that and get some Oki in the corner. Knockdown. You've got it. 6M. Meaty. Block this dive kick. you got to hold that. It's just too much. Has him in the corner. Still has him in the corner. There's just no freedom. He goes for a trade, but a back dash into the hit. Oh, my goodness. Look at the raw damage coolers pumping out with Assist. This might even be meterless, but a drop. Oh, no. Another drop for Nasi. Cell gets out. You've got to wonder if he wants that kill on Kefla or if he's just okay with fighting Cell for now. Broly assist to allow for the, the uh, high-low. Level 3 for Krillin. Does he have anything for this or is he just doing this for the knockdown? Either way, he's going to be good. 2M! Yep, I could tell. Sometimes you could just tell when a Krillin runs up what they're going to do. You can just see it in their eyes. Oh my goodness! Hitting the cell rejumps in 11 frames? I gotta give it up. Hitting any rejump in 11 frames is impressive. Frillin blocking in the corner. A lot of pressure here. And he just... What? Did he just 5M, 5M, 5H for the win there? That was insane. Beam a little too early to get any clipping on 21. Frillin gonna take a bit of a beating here. If he drops below a certain amount of health, three level ones will do him in. I'm not sure if that situation's now, though. It doesn't look like it will be. But a level 3 for the knockdown might be the right call. Level 3 knockdown on Krillin. Will he just go for the spark? He doesn't. Takes the risk. And he's going to get clipped by that Dragon Rush. That's Krillin. Knocked out of what needs to be a win for Nasi. Nasi blocks against Cell. Cell in the driver's seat. Has him blocking. Jumps away from the Dragon Rush. Now he has him in, under pressure of his own. Ooh. Jumping heavy. Whoa! Couple of beams are flying out here. Floating from the cooler. Manages to dodge the 2H, plays very patiently, and that patient is going to pay off in big spades. A lot of damage on the board. Actually crazy how much Cooler is capable of pumping out. If we were able to see some supers get done in after that, then I, I think we'd be looking at a different game altogether now. Because I feel like Kefla would be out, and right now Cell would be out. Cooler blocking full screen, a super dash. No 2H. He's got to block some more. He finds a space to put a 2L in. Insane. 21 gets a combo. Still has Spark available on Nasty's side. Let's see if he uses it to save Cooler or just saves it for the all-out limit break Broly performance. He's not going to get the choice. Cooler's going down. Three level ones or one level one and one level three. He wanted Kepler to be out here and do that is what she's going to do. And now with the tournament on the line, Nasty's here. He needs a win to continue on. He needs to find a way to dig deep. Broly has seven bars. I'm not sure how many Dragon Balls there are. I forgot to check. Spark is available. He's going to block a few hits and Spark. Gets the standing heavy. That's going to be Kefla out of the game if we just go up. <gasps> oh, Nasi! He always flies too close to the sun. You can almost respect it. You do respect it in a way. 11 frames and he's still trying to be optimal. He's not trying to cancel into any early supers. The Dragon Balls just aren't there for this match. But he is able to get quite the vanish kill. No, not vanish kill. Sorry, he's going to get a level 3 off it though. Level 3, hard knockdown. Level 3 available for Fuzzy as well. He's got to play some defense. Maybe look for a guard cancel. He finds a crouching 2L. He's going to just... Oh, and a bait on the vanish after the reflect. And he finds it again. It's just Cell. Nasi has taken the lead. Still, though, in a 1v1 setting, it's anybody's game. Though I will say, with the zoning difference, Broly has a huge chance of winning. Perfect attack, but it doesn't find a way. Another 2H whiff. Not accepting a defeat off that. Nasi jumps in. 
W Medium can't find the command grab. Does find two lights. And he finds another couple lights. It's Nasty going 1-1 with Fuzzy. 1v3 wasn't enough to stop Broly. A demon himself. The final round of the semifinals is upon us. Cooler has gotten all warmed up. He needs a strong competition here. You've got a block, but what a choice to go for the Dragon Rush. Insane choice by Nasty there. And a payoff. Oh, another one. He's having a field day out there. And uh, that's very good. We've seen strong starts from Nasty before, though. Fuzzy Chew has always found a way to adapt and get there late in the game. Could be looking for another Dragon Rush, but I don't think he wants to go for three. Three's pushing it even for him. Oh! Oh my goodness, he's clearly on fire with them. And with five bars, this could easily be a knockout on Kefla. Again, though, Nasi has had some problems with going for... No, he's not going to risk it this time. No overextending, no overoptimizing. He wants this game wrapped up. Fuzzy in neutral, manages to find a hit on Broly. Perfect attack, drifts over to the side. Clean left-right mix-up by Fuzzy. Got him in the corner. Nasi finds a hit. Gonna be fighting his way out of the corner here very quickly, just as soon as he got there. Rent prices must have been a little too high. Sell. Good confirm, but he wants to switch out immediately into 21. Cooler finds another hit. He's just been on fire this game. And in the corner is definitely not the place you want to be for this character. Drops him back down. Broly comes out. Lands another one. Krillin level three. You've got to wonder, is there going to be a sparking read here? There isn't, it's just a low by Krillin. He tries to get a dangerous combo off though again. Nasty over, whoa! Auto correct, auto combo, say hello. That is going to be the play of the night. Fuzzy's gonna be thinking about that one in his sleep. That was unfortunate, but fighters is gonna fighters. It's all up to Cell now, seven bars, three Dragon Balls. Shenron's not even on the dinner table right now. Cell with a medium spark. Limit break at his side. Cooler has just had a dominant, dominant performance. Cooler with the combos. My God, he just can't be stopped. He can't be stopped. Oh, the drop kick into a level one. It's going to be Nasty sealing the deal with a dominant game three performance after an amazing set. Nasty has walked away with a big win. It's 1-2 Nasi, and the finals have been decided. Here we are, the final teams for the finale, Discord and Nasi, both players who have shown their hearts in this tournament, both players that want that 100 bucks, 100 big smackaroonies. What are they gonna use it for? I don't know, we'll probably ask that in the post-game interview. Cooler. Honestly, I have seen a lot of promise from this cooler. When this cooler runs away with the game, it can be very hard for an opponent to win, especially with those two assists in the background backing it up. But again, we've also seen some great play from Discord here. Overall, he's faced some strong competition in this tournament and had to overcome some big obstacles. And that those baby combos are nothing to slouch on. He's also been shown to enjoy his fair share of Raw Level 3. A mini double Sunday! A mini double Sunday to start it off for Discord. Big bang attack, cooler's already in the corner. Now I will, oh, the wake up buttons to combo him in the corner and not just any combo. It's a big damage cooler combo. Some rocks into a dragon rush, but it drops again. Oh, the three, the three eight double Sunday through the key blast in the corner. Nasty is having himself a day. Another drop though. DPs into the rock assist. Oh my goodness. He is playing some free form fighters right now. He's doing things a little different. This isn't your average game. Discord wants to back up, throw some key blast out. I don't blame him. You've got to control the pace of the game. You need it back on your side. Vegito A assist. Cooler with the ability to go through those beams and key blast though. Going to be a very strong threat in this baby matchup. But the stomp doesn't care. The stomp's going to find its way out anyway. And with this amount of damage. Oh, but a drop. That was looking like it would have been a kill on baby. No spark from Discord here. He's not feeling any fear. He wants to play a smart logistical game. He's only going to spark if he feel he really has to. Throws out a jab, looking for an air to air. Has to block low, gonna keep blocking high. Doesn't reflect, instead opts to jump out when he gets a bit of silence, and he auto combos his way out of the corner. A great method, we saw Nasty use it himself. Loops, loops, baby loops, six bars. Drops the Dragon Rush, gets a reset opportunity, but not gonna be able to capitalize off it. Baby with very limited health. No doubt in my mind that Discord wants to look to either switch him out, but he's not gonna find it. He was worried about those key blasts coming back down. Classic baby player mentality. He's always got his mind on the key blast. Discord 
needs to find a way to dig deep with Vegito. And it can be done. Vegito has a lot of good limit break tools and a lot of ways to win in neutral for himself, by himself. And let's not forget, he's got Sparkle. Oh my god! But a 2M on the opposite side is dangerous, as it's just going to give him so much damage. Cooler comes out, and you've got to wonder if he's going to throw like 5 Destructo Disc here. He doesn't. Vegito's got to be wondering when he's going to spark. You don't want to mess this up. You don't want to die with spark. Shields up in the most beautiful place I've ever seen it. But the conversion's going to drop. Oh, no. Oh, no. With no spark coming out now, it is far too late. Nasi is going to get the first win of a needed two to win the 100 bucks. Oh, my gosh. That was a great shields up, though. And I like to see the mentality that this is not somebody that's already beat. This is a player that knows what he needs to do to win, and he's gonna be trying to win the entire game. And folks, when you've got a mentality like that, any game is winnable at any time. I won't hear any disagreements. At this level of the game, you've gotta be willing to constantly think that you are him and that you can overcome anything in front of you. Discord backs up, wants to play a bit of that range game. Doesn't wanna get hit by any cooler combos, trying to avoid that tail. But the tail's gonna find him! The big, meaty 2M! Got him in the corner. He's gonna be doing the medium into a meaty 6M. I play enough cooler to know that strat. Cooler keeps him checked in the corner. Doesn't want to go for any crazy reflex. Wow! The shield on the command grab! Nasi checked him not once, not twice, but thrice. And Vegeta gave him a 3 out of 10 for the effort. Dragon Rush in the corner. Key Blast, come back, hits him. Makes some space for him in the corner. Could have gone for a cross up, doesn't. Big beam. Super dash response from Nasi. Rock assist is going to create so much time. And Cooler just has more than enough time to get some combos off. Doesn't find the full string. The Broly assist might create another opportunity. It doesn't. Great reflect. Big bang attack doesn't hit, which is good. That combo would have done a lot. Rock assist. Cooler in the corner. He's got to find a way to get out. And he does. He's got pressure on Cooler. This is an amazing set. A lot of back and forth here. Game's moving rather slow. Big jumping medium. That might be enough to seal the deal. We'll have to see. He does pick up the combo, even with a little bit of lag. He's in three bar range, but Nasi, of course, likes to push it. We get another drop. Vegeta checks him in the corner, lands a jumping medium. Big bang, double big bang into some kicks. Into some two M's, into another big bang, into another big bang, into a grab. Yeah, he's not dropping this one. He wants to get Cooler out of the game and create a 3v2. And that's exactly what he's done for himself here. Who would have thought a $100 grand prize would create this kind of competition, this kind of thrill? Kamehameha in the corner. Key Blast to get him low again, and he finds a 2M. Those are the starters you don't want to see. The rocks come out just to get a bit more damage, but he's going to try to over-optimize. He drops again, but at the end of the day, it's just going to save him some meter. Unreal. Nasi has once again got the health difference. Vegito jumping away. Tags out in a very dangerous tag, but it's going to work for him. Reflects the Solar Flare. Doesn't reflect that one. Gets him the armor. He's going to be looking for that grab again. You can almost just tell. Big bang attack, but it's not going to hit. T-Blast almost combo that. Vegito A assist. Big rock. Vegito! Vegito! Vegito going crazy in the corner. He's got to learn to block. Final flash, raw level three. We saw this from Discord before in his first match. We knew he was the type to go for it when it called for it. And he is not disappointed us now with possibly the most influential raw level three of the tournament. Grabs him down. This is going to be a one-bar finish. He's going to save Vegeta Blue's assist. Overall, I mean, wow. You can't be upset at that raw level three. It just changed the game too much for him. Two missing Dragon Ball. Seven bars for Broly. This is a doable Shenron, but not a very likely one. Vegeta Blue. Discord has the character lead. We might be looking at a one-to-one -one here if Nasi can't find his footing. A raw vanish. One more raw vanish would be enough to kill. Not sure if we missed another 2H here. Nasty's been having some bad luck with that tonight. Vegeta, is this enough damage to kill? My goodness, it just doesn't end. He does have Spark available. Final Flash level three. What's the mix? Does Vegeta Blue have something here? The command grab, but it's not going to work. I think we all predicted that was going to be it. Oh, EX grab in the clutch. That was crazy, but I respect it. He's got to give himself time to heal up a little bit, though. No Vanish comes out. Super Ash instead. 
There's the spark from Vegito Blue. He doesn't want to get in any dangerous situation. Hold Vanish. He's got a combo on the line. And the reset. Oh, my God. I didn't expect that. I can't blame Discord for not seeing it either. Keeping it optimal. He's got the Vanish. But he doesn't go into a level three. Come in, grab instead. My God. That was the most chaotic portion of fighters I've ever seen. I got to jump over to the Discord for the raw reaction. Nasi, do you have anything to say to the people at home that just want to, you know, just want to know what goes on in a winner's mindset, bro? I knew I was the best crit in here, so I thought... Oh, my God, bro. Every, go. time, every, <laughs> every fucking time, I, every fucking time I'm mute in this tournament, bro, I just get roasted, bro. That's crazy. And now I got to give this guy $100, bro. That's crazy.